Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you, and you. Fine, fine. Excellent, great to see you. ¿Cuántos sabemos? Nine. Nine, nine. Okay, very good. Vamos a checar la attendance. A ver cuántos se logran conectar ahora, ¿verdad? Eighteen, eighteen, May eighteen today. Como nada, el tiempo vuela. Adriana, Marcela. Todavía está trabajando, Marice, este, Adriana. Ok, ok. Analicia. Ana. Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. No hay. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Grace, jo Grace Michelle. Joanna. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Voy a estar como oyente porque estoy en una otra clase. Ya comencé. Ah, vaya. Vaya, vamos a ver. A, este. Ay, Adriana, ¿verdad? El Luis. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Luis Edgardo. Eh, Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Nubia. Yes, teacher. Ok. Rosailda. Present teacher. David. No, David. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. ¿Qué tal de apagón? ¿Cómo les fue ahí en su casa? Hey, teacher, David, que tenía problemas para entrar. Ay, va. A ver, Ana, Carolina, Claudia, Grace Michelle, Grace, 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 no está Grace, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. 
Y tal vez fue el apagón. <ríe> y de repente vemos así de Carla Patricia para el mundo. No. Ok, muy bien. Sí. <ríe> Vamos a ver si quizás, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, Karen Elena, Karen Stephanie. David ya me dijo present, David. Present, present. Ah. Teacher, solo que hoy voy a estar de ayudante, que todavía sigo trabajando, por el apagón me atrasó todo. Vaya, David. Va, aquí yo los apunto para cuando los mando a los grupos, me aseguro de que hayan tres. Para... Gracias, teacher. Para que el otro pobre no esté allí esperando. Y hoy, ¿qué se me hizo? <ríe> Vaya, sí, mire qué feo eso, ¿verdad? Pero yo no me di cuenta. Yo terminé clase a las cinco y media. Me quedé revisando un par de cosas. Y como días a las seis, dije, ay, me voy a ir a dormir un rato. Y me fui a dormir. Entonces, me desperté a las siete y diez, ya había luz. Pero me dice mi esposo que sí se fue la luz aquí también. Eso no me di cuenta. Mejor así. Acá, no, acá no me acá está, hace poco ha venido. Sí, así dicen que en algunos lugares eh, todavía siete y media, todavía no había energía, veinte a las ocho y nada. ¿Verdad? Pero pues qué bueno que logramos conectarnos varios porque son pocos los que faltan. ¿Qué? Sí, me llamaron mis hijas, mamá, ahí donde me despertaron. Mamá, no hay luz, y hay luz en la casa, y yo, sí. Y yo, sí. Sí, me extrañó la pregunta. Y el primo no sabía que no había habido luz, ¿verdad? Vaya, David, solo que es, se pone, el, aquí lo voy a poner, yo, ya. el otro nombre, David Alexander. Que del teléfono estoy y se me complica un poquito, dice. No, ya se lo pongo yo, no se preocupe. Alexander Rodríguez, ¿qué? Sánchez. Sánchez. Y yo sé, este celular es más difícil. Va, está ya completo. Gracias, teacher. Bueno, ok. Well, let's start then. I'm going to share first the screen for everybody to be able to share. And then the presentation. We finish unit five today. Unit five. Uy, qué, bar qué barbaridad. We finish unit three today. Your unit five. Remember these questions? What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Tell me some. Responsible. Being responsible, what else? Organized. Organized, yes. Efficient. Organized, efficient. Be punctual. Yes. Responsibly. Responsible, yes. Being responsible. Communication. Communicative. Como uh -huh. Or you can say have have good communicative skills. See, ¿Sí? good communicative skills. Punctual, yes. What else? Proactive. Proactive. Repeat, Karen. Respect. Respectful. 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 Sí. Respectful with partners. Or colleagues and with the boss, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. But you have mentioned uh, many qualities. But there is one quality that says, I know is the hits. the best. He, need, he needs a promotion or he deserves a promotion. What quality? Is essential for you to get a promotion. Mm? Honesty. Honesty. Okay. Can I promote somebody who is honest? 
Only uh, because it's honest. Proactivity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Would you like to get a promotion in your work? Would you like to get a promotion? No, nobody wants a promotion. Estamos feliz como estamos. <laughs> no. No. Okay, who wants a promotion? Who wants a promotion? Only Oscar. Uh, Only Oscar uh, wants for a me. For uh -huh. me, uh, honesty. Okay, okay. Being honest, you can get a promotion, good. Now check. Today, and why I'm asking you the same questions because of this. We're going to read the employee's performance report. And then we are going to discuss who is the best candidate to be promoted. And if you see, if you notice, here uh, there are some of the qualities that you were mentioned, right? We are going to be reading about Saul Perez and Karen Solano. Employee's name, Saul Perez. The employee shows commitment to work. Yes. It's always punctual. Does not violate rules. Mm -hmm. Follows indications. Yes. Working. Yes. Focuses on his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Completes the work assigned. Yes. It's a leader. Communicates ideas. Yes. Is proactive. No. Is collaborative. Yeah. Has a positive attitude. Yes. Observations. He usually comes late. Ooh. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not a proactive person. That is Raul Perez. Now we have the performance report for Karen Solano. The employee shows commitment to work. Yeah. Is always punctual. Yes. Does not violate rules. No. Right. Sometimes she violates rules. Follows indications. Yeah. Likes to work in group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Focuses on her responsibilities. Yes. Completes the work assignment. Mm -hmm. Is a leader. Yes, it's a leader. Communicates ideas. Yes, it's proactive. Yeah, she's proactive. It's collaborative. Yeah. Has a positive attitude. No. Ui, would you promote her? You will tell me that later, right? Observations. She usually comes late. That she does violate. Oh, she usually comes late, but she violates. She does violate the rules sometimes. When you see that uh, that structure, she does violate. No es que uy se equivocaron, teacher, y le pusieron el auxiliar allí no iba. Cuando usted le pone el auxiliar así antes del verbo, es porque le quiere dar énfasis. This, ella sí viola las reglas. Right? So you want to emphasize. She does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. Ooh. Is she a good candidate? Is she a good candidate? To be promoted, who knows, right? Who knows? Vaya. 
Now, check what you're going to do with this. You're going to discuss why Mr. Perez or Mr. Solano should be promoted. Why? And if you decide nobody should be promoted, you tell me that, okay? You will go to your manual on page. Let me tell you the page. That's page 37. So you will go read the performance plan, discuss with your partners, and tell me why they should or should not be promoted, right? So if you say, no, come on, you, they, you cannot promote them. Tell me why, why not? And if you decide that they should not be promoted, you create a profile of a person that you think should be promoted, okay? Any questions? Yes, no. No questions. Okay. No teacher. I'm a severe, let's make groups of four. Cha, 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 cha. Tengo cuatro gentes trabajando. Right. Six. Grace Michelle. Grace, 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 are you here? Teacher, aún estoy en el trabajo. Okay. Vamos a ver. Grace Michelle, Karen, Luis Ricardo. Nubia y Rosa Hilda, vaya, ahí hay, hay tres, tres activos. David, Ana, Claudia, Carla, Patricia. Carla, Patricia is working and David, two chicos. So you are going to be three active, okay? And then we have Adriana. Adriana, Beatriz, Jonathan. Sí, ahí van a haber cuatro activos. Y en el último todos están aquí. Vale, allá vamos. Discuss. Okay. Check, check, try to join. Uh -huh. Who's the best candidate? It's complicated. Yes, I wouldn't promote anybody. None of them. But it's your decision. So if you decide not to, not <clears throat> to promote anybody, you can create a profile for the person you think should be the one. But give me a reason why you shouldn't. Hey, teacher, una pregunta. Y los que no tienen X es porque no cumplen. Porque no los cumple, exactly. Mm. Yo no entendía. Yo, este cuadrito. <laughs> Yo también estaba, estaba este, buscando el yes or not. <laughs> no, Ajá. las que tienen marquitas. Son... <coughs> es que acuérdense que las compus no tienen cheque, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso a los que cumplen se les pone una crucita y las que no cumplen este, no tienen nada. Ok. Employee's name, Raúl Pérez. The employee, show coming. Ay, ay, ay. Ya fue la primera palabra que no. Vale. 
commitment 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 means compromiso uh, Sí, maestra, compromiso. Yes, show. Se me vaya. Es que, pero me dice, mire, eh, aprovechando, perdón, chicas, pero es que, ¿por qué me cuesta pronunciar ese, el require, 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 como el cuá cuá del pato. Se lo me acordó del chiste, teacher. No me lo puedo, pero dicen que había un indito que quería preguntarle a un, a un extranjero que por qué estaba disparándole a los patos. Entonces comienza y le pregunta, señores, for what pen pen cuac cuac. <risa> sí estamos nosotros ahorita en ese nivel. <risa> Ay, está bien, está bien. Okay. No, maestro, está bueno. Pen cuac cuac. Primeras personas que se ríen de un chiste que yo cuento. Ay, ¿en serio? Pero creo que las palabras va por what, pen, pen, cuac, cuac. Uh, ok. Is always punctual, punctual, es verdad. Punctual, punk, punctual, punk, punctual. Is always punctual, no es puntual, no es puntual. Does not. Violate, no. Violate. <ríe> Violate. Violate. ¿Por qué tantas palabras ahorita? <ríe> <ríe> Commitment, violent rules. Does not violent rules. Mm -hmm. Does not fight the rules. Ajá. Violate. Follows indication. Mm -hmm. Likes to work in group. Yes. Focuses. Así es, focuses. Focuses, yeah. Focuses on his responsibilities. Focuses on responsibilities. <laughs> focuses on his responsibility. Okay. Um, Completes the word assign. Is assign. Assign. Mm -hmm. Completes the words. The word assign. 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 Mm -hmm. assign. assign. Yes. Is a leader. No. No. Com Communicate yes. ideas. Yes. Yes. Is proactive. No. No. Ahí viene otra palabra. <risa> Collaborative. Collaborative. Mm -hmm. Colab y hay otra, le voy a enseñar otra. Vaya. Cooperative. 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 Sí, cooperative. Collaborative. Yes. He has a positive attitude. Así, attitude. 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 Has a positive attitude. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Observation. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work. But he's ay, sign. Acaba de decir esa parte. Dice arriba. Ah, pero sí, she usually comes late. Ajá. She dice arriba. She usually. Don't translate to Spanish. Ah, dice she usually comes late. 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 
Suele llegar tarde, dice. Mm, pero ahí arriba es always punctual. Ajá. Ajá, todo lo tiene bueno, solo que estás no viola, ruler, ruler, viola, viola las reglas. Eso es lo malo. ¿A quién prefieren? Es, eh, es difícil. Yo, yo pondría a Mr. A, Pérez. A Mr. Pérez. Porque uno ya, ya, hizo, ya hizo una carta, dice, donde hizo una letter, una letter comunica. Uno se compromete. Yo pondría a la muchacha porque que le dicen que el muchacho no, no es líder. Ajá, el líder, que... el líder no, no se hace, se nace. En algunas veces se, nada más se se pule, pero si no lo traía para líder, no va a ser desempeñar aunque, el, aunque fuera el acto que quiera. Ajá, es que también por eso es mi... Pero la chica viola la, las reglas. Pero, ¿qué tan graves son las violaciones que tiene? Por ejemplo, llegar tarde, creo que a todos nos ha pasado alguna vez. Uh -huh. Tal vez con no. un poco más de supervisión, pensaba yo, para ver ese tema de violar las reglas. Yo la pondría a prueba. A prueba seis meses y demostrarme que es lo que podés. Si no, no. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Make a big decision. Big decision. Oh. Yes. Pongamos la prueba seis meses, pues. Si no. Bonillo, José Alfredo. Hola, no, teacher. I am, I am. No. Ah, ok, ok. Carla. Carla Lorena. Yes. El resto creo. Ay, ah, Jonathan también está como presente, solo que está leyendo. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Y and, responsable. Hola. And also el perdón, permitimos. And is also a good collaborator. Colaborator, no sé cómo se dice. Colabora collaborator. 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 Oh, you can say she's collaborative. And also is collaborative. She's Solamente eso ponemos. Eh. 
Este, me parece suficiente. La podríamos poner. No se me ocurre nada más. Pues sí, como ahí están todas las unidades. Ajá. Ahí están ya marcadas. Only, no more. Pues ya no se nos ocurrió nada más, teacher. Ok, ok. Okay, time to cheer. We still have some people in the mini groups.
Ok, va. hoy sí ya estamos. Uy, como que perdieron varios en el camino. Ahí viene. Va, ok, let's see. Some words to review with the pronunciation. Commitment. 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 Punctual. Punctual. Violate. Violate. Indications. A mí me gustaría más que dijera instructions. Yeah. Instructions would be happier with the word instructions than with the word indications. Mm -hmm. hmm. El Google Translator si la, si la acepta. <laughs> But I mean, me suena muy in Spanish, right? To say indications. I prefer instructions. A ver. Um, responsibilities. Responsibilities. Assign. Assign. Leader. Leader. Com Leader. Communicates. Communicates. Proactive. Proactive. Collaborative. 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 Attitude. 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 Okay. Now, after reading these two profiles that are not the best, we imagine if these are the best ones of the company. And you have to promote one. You will tell me your decision that you made on in the group. Who will you promote? Will you promote Raúl Pérez or will you promote Karen Sola? Give me reasons, powerful reasons for promoting one or for promoting the other. A ver. Who will be the first one? A ver, a ver. Joana. Who will be? Sí. In your group, what did you decide? <coughs> okay. We decide that Karen Solano should be promoted. No. Uh -huh. I not tell you why. Because um, she had a leadership skills and is proactive, show commitments to work, and she is a leader. In this case, we should uh, make her to sign a commitment letter. In that letter, she promises to come at time and have better attitude. Okay, to have a positive attitude, but imagine she has, yes. she, she doesn't have a positive attitude toward what? Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't have a positive attitude and she breaks the rules. So those yes. are the things like... Everybody needs a conscience. Hmm? So we are going to give her a chance. You will give her a chance. Okay. Yes. To prove that she can do it. Okay. 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 Thank you, Joanna. Joanna, choose somebody that is not from your group. Okay. I'm going to choose Claudia Carolina. By a Claudia Carolina. Hi. Hi. Me too. Me too. I choose Karen Solano uh, because she is a leader and proactive. Mm -hmm. uh, with the condition, uh, she will be tested in six months. And if she makes a good job, she continues in the position. 
If she does a not good job, she come back at the other job. Okay. Yeah, because she will get a promotion, but we don't know what she will do, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Carolina, choose somebody from another group. Okay, let me see. Edwin Mauricio. Good evening. I belong to the group with Joanna. Mm -hmm. But, ah, but okay. uh, also, she doesn't have warnings for, uh, for Karen Solano. Exactly. Karen Solano doesn't have warnings. Hmm. And Mr. Perez, yes. Hmm. Okay, okay. Good point, Edwin. Who do you choose, Edwin, in, you, in another group? Uh, choose Luis Mauricio. He's so quiet. <laughs> he was alone. Hi, Luis Mauricio. Mauricio, no here. Luis Mauricio, no está. Ok, vamos a buscar a otro victim por aquí. Este victim no se dejó. Vaya, Diego, tell me, Diego. Joana already explained. Oh, you were in Joanna's group. Ok, vamos a ver. Está perdonado. José Alfredo, don't tell me that you were with Carolina. No, I... Ya estaba <laughs> en el grupo de Carla Lorena. Ah, va. Ok, perfecto. Uh, we select... Bueno, we choose the Karen Solano because she has uh, the qualities for be a leader mm -hmm. and he is responsible and proactive. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Solamente. We need a leader, right? To promote somebody. We need a leader, definitely. And the boy or the other boy is not proactive, it's not a leader, and he gets late. It's like um mm -hmm. okay. One last, 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 last. No escondan que yo los encuentro. Elvin. <ríe> Se esconden, me guardan la cámara para que no los mire. Tú debes teacher, me too, uh, the group, uh, Joana, tú de Aguilar. ¿Por qué todo el mundo estaba en el grupo de Joana? <ríe> Everybody is with me. <ríe> Qué casualidad es la vida. She represents us. She represents the group. Okay, okay. So everybody agrees with eh, Karen Solano? Yes. O anybody says yes, no, 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 no. Sí, yes, why? Sí, verdad. Yes. Yes. It doesn't Sorry. matter that she breaks the rules. I break the rules sometimes. I guess we all every we all do, right? Yes. Uh-huh. And I am a leader, so oh, <laughs> oh okay. But not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well. But what about the attitude? <laughs> what will happen to a team if the leader doesn't have a positive attitude? What do you think? What would happen to a team if the leader doesn't have a positive attitude? 
because the big thing is the two the two situations uh, that she breaks the rules and she has a negative attitude. So what do you think about that? Mami, Maybe then they wouldn't go do a good job. Mm -hmm. Because that would be the complicated thing with the team, right? Yes. The team. If if the leader has a, a negative attitude, okay, that, that will complicate the team's uh, life, definitely. Now, check this. I have another exercise for you. And look at the instructions. It says, with the previous employees' performance reports, and ask and answer the questions about them. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Is he a leader? So what you have to do is this. Shows commitment to work. Does he show commitment to work? Is punctual. Is he punctual? Oops. Violates, does not violate rules. Does he violate rules? You have only seven spaces. And here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you choose seven, right? You choose seven uh, characteristics and you make questions about those seven characteristics, okay? Because you have a space only for seven questions. And of course, they do not have to be uh, the same questions for both people, right? Look at the questions for Mrs. Solano. Is Mrs. Solano committed to work? Does she focus on her responsibilities? Does she have a good attitude? Is she proactive? And so on, okay? So write the questions for Mr. Perez and write the questions for Mrs. Solano. Okay, questions? No questions. Much. We're using the present simple here. You have to be careful when you use the verb to be and when you use the other verbs. And then when you finish, in el manual hay un error que aquí dice about Miss Perez. Entonces allí yo le puse mi solán, right? By a check. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Yes, he does. Is he a leader? Yes, he is. No, pues no. ¿Verdad que no? No, he isn't. So you go read that information. Is he a leader? Is he a leader? No. Y aquí tendría que decir no. Ah. Is he a leader? No. No, he isn't. Is he a leader? No. No, he isn't. So first, in groups, you write the questions about these characteristics. Write the questions. And then, again, you go check the information and answer the questions. Is that clear for you? Yes. 
Claro, pues. You go to your manual on page 38. Page 38. Voy a pasar a attendance antes de mandarlos a los grupos porque les va a llevar su ratito. A ver, a ver, Adriana. Present teacher, ya voy de camino para mi casa. Oye, eh, ahí le aviso ya cuando pueda estar participando. Perfecto, Adriana. Gracias. Bueno, Ana Alicia. Ana. Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. No está Claudia Carolina. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace. No está, ¿verdad? Joana. Present teacher. Joana. Yes, present. Okay. Jonathan. Present. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Karen. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Present teacher. Luis. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David. Se perdió David. Lo oía, lo oía allá por San Miguel. Oh, ok, por eso es. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. Perfecto. Ok. Vale, estamos. Yo había visto a Claudia Carolina, pero no, ¿verdad? No está Aquí ahorita. Estoy. Yo no Ahí me está. dijo presa. La llamé <ríe> tres veces. Perdón, es que me había levantado. Ah. Yo dije, bueno, y que no estaba Claudia Carolina. Soñé. Soñé, soñé que estaba. Vaya. Ok, hoy sí, nos vamos. Nos vamos a los grupos. Lo voy a mandar. Quiero ver. Lo voy a mandar en grupos más pequeños que el anterior. I'm going to make one more group. Here I had four. I'm going to make five. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. David, Karen, Carla, Patricia, Rosa Hilda. Karen and Rosa Hilda, you will be talking. David and, and Carla Patricia will be there. <coughs> Elvin, Jonathan, Nubia, and Oscar, Diego, Beatriz, Diego, y José Alfredo. Edwin, Joana. Joana va todavía de camino. No, Joana, no, ¿verdad? Adriana es la que va de camino. No, teacher, I'm here. Sí, yo, Adriana es la que va de camino. Vamos a cambiar acá. Carla Lorena, David Grace, porque Grace no está. No está, no está. Vaya, vamos a pasar acá. Para que me estén 3, 3, 3, 3. Los 3 tristes tigres. No, va, 3, 3, 3, 3. Vaya, ahí está. Vámonos, pues. Ajá, ajá.
cabal. Let's go. Questions. No. No questions. No questions. Perfect. No question. Perfect. Let's go then. Check the groups. You can join. Question about Mr. Perez. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? <coughs> Ajá, que la que ya está. Yes, he does. Ya está contestada. Ajá. Ajá. Is he, he number two? Is he a leader? Uh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Es que, ajá, ahí están abajo también contestadas. Ahí. No, pero ahí donde es donde había error, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo que corrigió la tía. Sería. No, no. Sí, sí. No, sí. Ok. Number three. Vamos a hacer nosotros una cuenta. Tenemos que formular la verdad. Sí, vamos a ver. <coughs> Sería, das Mr. Pérez. Das Mr. Pérez. Eh. Violet. Uy, perdón. Uh -huh. eh. Así es. Sí, la podemos hacer así como pues no. Sí. Das no, Mr. Pérez. Va. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Va, 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 Violet. Violet. Violet Ruth. Violet Ruth. Entonces, Entonces en este caso, No. No, dice, ¿verdad? No, no, no. No, sería no fidase, no. Después, dice el que si. Bueno, él no es el líder. Entonces, tu, 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 tu. He is communicate, communicate, communicate. ¿Cómo sería? Communicate. communicate. Okay, te le pondremos aquí. He is okay, Pero como pregunta, tendría es que ser. Comunicativo. No. Does, 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 he, he does he is communicate? Does he communicate ideas? Does he? Does he? Does he? Chequen que con los que van a usar el verbo to be ahí tienen is punctual, is leader, is proactive, is collaborative. Con los demás usa el auxiliar das porque no va a usar el to be. Utilizando las mismas oraciones que habían en performance. Ajá, exacto. Ah, okay. Prácticamente exactly. de añadir el das más que todo. Mm -hmm. Sí, okay. make the question. Se le pone el das antes del, del sujeto. Antes del sujeto, exacto. Ok, entonces sería das he communicate. Entonces se le pone abajo. Does he communicate, communicate, no communication, Oscar. 
Does he que, communicate? Does he communicate? Uh -huh. Entonces That's... le pongo abajo. No. Pero como tiene S, ¿cómo se pronuncia con la S? Como, communicates. Como acuérdese, no. Sí, communicates, con S. Pero como allí la S se la lleva el auxiliar en la pregunta, ¿verdad? Um... Entonces usted dice, does he communicate ideas? Does okay. he communicate ideas? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Ok. Pero ahí sería, como estamos preguntándole a Mr. Pérez, haciendo la pregunta de él, que si él es comunicativo. No, no está preguntando si es comunicativo. Está preguntando si sí, comunica las ideas. Comunica ideas. Y aquí le han puesto que... Ah, oh, yes. Ajá, que si comunica ideas, no que si es comunicativo. Porque si va yes. a preguntar que si él es comunicativo, ahí sí tendría que usar el verbo tu bien vez de das. Sí. Entonces sería... Yes. He does. Se puede decir das he Das viola, viola rule. Das he. Das he violate rules. Das he violate. Sí, porque es el Viol, viol, viol. No, aquí le tengo que poner, ¿no? No, no, he doesn't. Okay. Más, más abajito. He's leader. He's ah, no, pues la leader. tenemos, ya la tenemos. Ajá. No, pues la tenemos arriba. Vaya, no. Pero recuerden, Oscar, ¿Sí? que van haciendo preguntas. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí. si allí están usando cualquier otro verbo, tienen que agregarle das a la pregunta. Si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, el verbo to be tiene que estar al principio. Is he a leader? Proactive. ¿Ya? Yeah. Sí, das. Ok. Ok, okay. entonces sería das. Da he colabora y colabora y. Is he. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque pregunta. ¿Cómo dice allí? Que si él es comunicativo. ¿Sí? No. Colaborativo. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo si dice? Colabora. No, pero es que no traduzca. Ahora, porque en la medida en que se pone a traducir es que se confunde. ¿Cómo dice allí? Is. Sería, is he colaborativo. Is he colaborativo. Uh -huh. No vayan traduciendo, porque en la medida en que se van, que se ponen a traducir, ahí es donde se me hay, pierden. Hay convenciones, ¿verdad? Sí, Exacto. Hay... Ahí es donde se me pierden. Entonces, no vayan traduciendo, porque ustedes ya conocen ese vocabulario. No necesitan traducirlo. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Y Elvin no está. 
Elvin. Elvin, Elvin, Elvin. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Colaboré con sus compañeritos. Elvin. Sí, os estoy viendo. <coughs> Elvin, 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 sería ah, hola, hola. que le bajaran un poquito a Betty la fea para que pueda ir. ¿Por qué? Ahorita, ahorita. Es que aquí usted se llena. ¿Y ahora? Ok. <coughs> Luis Edgardo, hello. World assistant leader. Uh, what the question? Sí. No, he isn't. Sí. Ok, bye. Espérame, esta es la 6 y no sé si yo no noté una o qué pasó. No, no, tengo tres. no. Recuerde, este, José Alfredo. Okay. That you have 12, uh, 12 characteristics, right? But you will sí. make only seven questions, so it doesn't matter. Sí, yo sé. Sí. No, lo que pasa es que solo he notado tres. Ah, se ha saltado. <laughs> <laughs> ok, eh, si gusta, José Alfredo, la repasamos. Ok. Este, sí, porque así las anoto todas. Vaya, la tres era... Does Mr. Perez violate the rules? Oh, sí. Number uh -huh. four, he's always, he, he, Mr. Perez, always punctual. Okay. Is, is. No, perdón. Eh, is Mr. Perez always punctual, sería, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Is Mr. Perez, okay. Number five. Does Mr. Perez focus in his responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Okay, y la seis es la que acabamos de hacer. Is Mr. Perez proactive? Proactive. Okay, proactive. Okay, number seven. Uh, siete. Sí. Mm. Is Mr. Perez a leader? Okay. Is. Is Mr. Perez a leader? Okay. No. She, bueno, mm. he doesn't. He's. No, he isn't, o is. Mr. Pérez o Miss Solano? Oh, no, he isn't. Ajá. No, Mr. Pérez, perdón. Okay, no, he, he is. No, he isn't. Ok. Um, quiero ver. Qué calor. Ok. Con eh, Solano. Las preguntas no tienen que ser las mismas para ambos, o sí, o pueden ser. Sí, pueden ser las mismas. O oh, para, para ambos, ustedes dos, o para Mr. Solano y Miss Pérez, no hay cambio. Como tienen 12 ah. opciones. <risa> ok. Bye. Como tienen 12 opciones, ¿verdad? Y, y solo van a escribir siete, también las. Ok. Thanks. Okay, number three of Mr. Solano. Mrs. Solano. Okay. 
Does Mr. Solan shows commitment commitment to work? Como, como, repítelo. Does Mrs. Solano shows commit, commitment to work? Okay. Okay. Solano. Commitment. Solano show commitment to work. To work. Okay. <coughs> yes, she does. Right? Mm -hmm. Um Okay, number four is, bueno, does Miss Solano follow indication? Is Miss Solano follows indication, right? Does okay. Miss Solano follow does. Sí, does. Okay. Cuando yeah. vean otro verbo, van a ocupar das. Y cuando vean que dice is, por ejemplo, is va con un adjetivo. Okay. Okay. Well, is proactive, is responsible. Cuando no esté de esa forma, ocupo el dos. Oh. Ajá, cuando lo que tiene ahí es otro verbo que no es el to be, ocupa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, the answer is yes, she does. Espérame que no he escrito la pregunta. <laughs> okay. Okay, la siguiente. Okay, number five. Let me write. Okay. Number five is complete the work assignment. Does Miss Solano complete the work assignment? Assign. Assignment. Assign. Yeah, does Miss Assign. Solano complete the work assigned? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Does Miss Solano? And the answer is yes. Yes, she, yes, she does. Yes, she does. She does. Okay, this is number five, number six. Is Mrs. Solano collaborative? Collaborative. Yes. Oh. Es mi sola, ¿no? Pro collaborative. 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 Yes. She is. Okay, number seven, the last one. Does Mrs. Solano has a positive attitude? No, yes. Sí. Okay. Does uh, Mrs. Solano has a positive Does Mrs. Solano? Does Mrs. Solano? Have. Have. Ajá. Have. Acuérdense que en la pregunta, este... La forma normal. Uh -huh, el verbo va en forma base. Ok. Have. 
so, al poner das, ya no es necesario ocupar el... Ya el, no llega. Zona, ¿verdad? No, no lleva F, sino que va en forma base. Ok. Ok. Does Miss Solano have a positive attitude? Yes. She. Yes, she. Does. She does. Yes. She does. Okay. We finished the job. Excellent, excellent. Vamos a ver un último grupo y men. Okay. Three dash Mr. Solano Byron Rules. Hi, teacher. Hi. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, and the question is, is fine. Does he have a positive attitude? Exactly. Does he have a positive attitude? No, no has. Does she has? No, porque acuérdense que en la pregunta usted pone el auxiliar y el verbo va en la forma base. Ah, ok. Entonces, does he have does a positive he have Does he have a positive Does he have a positive attitude? Uh -huh. Exacto. Does he, does he have a positive attitude? In this case, when you use that, the verb, uh, how do you say that? How do you say? Guitar. Take off. Take off the uh, and the and S, for example. Take off the S. Okay. You take off the S. Okay. Does she complete? No, no S. I, I put does she complete? Does she complete exactly without S? Because the auxiliary is does. The auxiliary is. Sí, porque estamos hablando de he, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, exactly. Entonces, lo que hace es que omite el, el, la S de la tercera persona en el verbo y se la pone al auxiliar. Por eso le queda das. Thank you, teacher. Ok. ¿Cómo van? Ya, ya estuvo, ya terminado. Sí. Yes. 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 Vámonos, pues. Let's go. Ok, ok, missing. Todavía falta un par. Casi, casi.
Any questions over there? No questions. Yes, teacher, este, en el cuadro de Karen Solano. Uh -huh. Ahí este, Rosy Cabal, yo no sé, vemos que es un error. Ayuden, donde dice, focus test on his responsibilities. Entonces, sí. no, seré, no sería focus test on her responsibilities. Sí. sí, definitivamente. Y tendría que ser focus test on her responsibilities. Bravo, Rosy. Eso, muy bien, muy bien. On her, no his. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver eh, the questions. ¿Quién quiere compartir pantalla y, y presentarnos sus preguntas y respuestas sobre Mr. Pérez? Volunteer. Only Mr. Pérez. Después vamos a querer otro volunteer to share about me Solano. A ver, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer victim. <laughs> pues dice no hay volunteers habrán victims volunteers 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 me teacher thank you Rosy vaya you can share the screen and you let us know Well, number three, does Mr. Perez violate the rules? No, he doesn't. Uh, number four, does Mr. Perez follow indication? Yes, he does. Is he proactive? No, he isn't. Does he like to work in group? Yes, he does. And number seven, is he collaborative? Yes, he is. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Errores de ortografía, teacher, todo. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Muy bien, ya, vamos, y sí, me respeta mayúsculas al principio, sí, <laughs> al final, puntitos al final, muy bien, estamos bien. Ok, thank Ooh, you. Very good. Vaya, who will be my next volunteer? Y si no, Rosy lo va a escoger. Volunteer, 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 volunteer. No volunteer. Ah, pues te Un caballero, teacher. Un caballero. Un caballero. ¿Quién, Rosy? Mm, aunque sea el disimulado Diego, creo que quiere pasar, teacher. <risa> Vaya, <laughs> Diego. But I can share the screen because I read the question. Y, y una, un vecino de su grupo que comparta. All I read the question. Vamos a ver quién estaba en su grupo. Me teacher, uh, because but I use my cell phone. ¿Quién más estaba allí? Eh, Karen, no, no sé. Aquí tengo la prueba, aquí las tengo. No lo encuentro. José Alfredo y Karen Elena. Ajá. Hola, teacher. Voy a probar porque estoy con el teléfono. Ok. Pues yo veo que, yo veo que algunos bien galán comparten desde el celular. Vaya. ¿Quién es el que está tratando de compartir? Yo, Alfredo, pero espérame. Y <ríe> así se me perdió. <ríe> Sí. 
estoy teniendo dificultades, teacher. No crea que no la quiero compartir. No lo quiere dejar la, la computer. La captura voy a compartir. Ok. Bye. Listo. No sé si se logra ver bien. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Tenemos buenos ojos. Del... <risa> Bye. Ah, ¿la leo yo o Diego? Ahí vean, Diego. Diego, Diego, ¿quién lee? ¿Yu? Uh, la, ok. Lo, todos los del grupo vamos a participar. Esto ah. sí me llega. Ok, voy a leer las dos primeras yo y ahí las otras que restan mis compañeros. Ok, Miss Lano. ¿Does Miss Lano <laughs> commit me to work? Uh. Is, yes, she does. Number two. Uh, does Miss Solano follow indication? The answer is uh, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Is Mr. Perez proactive? No, he isn't. Is Mr. Perez always puntual? No, he isn't. ¿Quién más iba con nosotros, Diego? Karen, Beatriz, no sé, no recuerdo el nombre. Mi, ¿Is Mr. Perez a leader? No, he isn't. And does Miss Solana commitment to work? Yes, she does. Does me, is Miss Solano commit? Or does she have commitment? What, what, what is your question? Can you repeat? Uh, the second teacher, does Miss Solano commitment to work? Yes, she does. ¿Cuál sería su verbo ahí? Is com commitment? No, ese es un noun. Porque es compromiso. ¿Cuál sería, Entonces, ¿cuál work? sería su verbo? ¿Cuál sería su verbo allí? Show. Does Miss Solano show commitment to work? Exactly. Does Miss Solano show? Commitment to work. Very good. Eh, me faltó una palabrita por ahí. El dedo fue el culpable. Exacto. <laughs> <laughs> ok. A ver, the next one. Does Mr. Solano follow indication? Ok, does yes. Mr. Solano follow indications? Yes. She does. Yes, she, yes, does. she does. Okay. Yes. Uh, she does. does Miss Solano complete the work assigned? Yes, she does. Okay. Diego. Is Miss Solano colla collaborative? Yes, she is. And does Miss Solano have a positive attitude? attitude. Attitude. Yes, she does. Okay. Eso todos. Ahí está. Perfect. One more group. You can choose the victim. One more group. A ver, Joana. Eh, Joana. Victim. Vaya, victim says. Joana. Hi. Hi. I can't share because I prefer the paper. Okay. 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 Uh, mm, Mr. Perez or Mrs. Solano? You choose. Como ya leyeron de los dos, usted decide. Okay. La vamos a dejar libre que escoja. 
Okay. Eh, okay, Mrs. Solano. Is Mrs. Solano commitment to work? Yes, she is. Does she focus on her responsibilities? Yes, she does. Does she violence rules? Yes, she does. Is she proactive at work? Yes, she is. Does she have a positive, a positive attitude? No, she doesn't. Does she communicate ideas? Yes, she does. Is she collaborative at work? Yes, she is. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Any questions over there? Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, just remember that when you are using, when you are using the verb to be, right? So you say, is she collaborative? Is she commit, commit, committed, right? She's committed or she has commitment or she shows commitment. Is she committed to work? Is she responsible? Does she show responsibility? Is she responsible? Or does she show responsibility? So it depends, right? If you're using a verb, then you use does. If you're using an adjective or in another case, we can say the verb to be, we are going to use the verb to be in the question. Okay? Any question? No question. No questions. Mm -hmm. Vaya, pues. Vamos a hacer, eh, vamos a hablar sobre el simple past. Remember, yesterday we were talking about the simple past of the verb to be. Yo tengo la idea de que ya lo hemos usado antes. Is that correct? ¿O no? ¿Ya lo hemos usado antes con ustedes? No, yes, teacher. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Ya le vamos a recordar entonces. Pero ya les vamos a recordar. La check. Yo lo vi, pero en otro grupo. Eh, ¿ah? Pero en, siempre. En, 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 pero en cursos atrás. Ok. Pero verdad que sí, ya lo hemos visto. Yo. Ah, porque se refiere a la a, is, are. No, no, no. Talking about the past of the verb to be. The past of the verb to be was where? Where? Was where? Remember yesterday, I told you we use was for what? affirmative. Digo, sí, verdad? Both of these are for affirmative, but you use was for singular and where for plural. Yes? Now we are going to be to see negative. What happens in the negative? I have to use this. I'm going to use the, con the contraction. Instead of saying was not, I'm going to say wasn't. So in affirmative, you use was. In negative, wasn't. In affirmative, you use were. In negative, weren't. So you say, I was at school yesterday. Remember what I told you. You use the to be, right? We use the verb to be. When talking about or plus an adjective, right? You will see other sentences there where you're using the verb to be plus an adjective. Or you can use it plus a place. Yes. Teacher. Hola. ¿Verdad que no está compartiendo nada? Ay, no le creo. 
Siento raro que esté hablando y no ver nada, teacher. Uy. Y según yo, vaya. Aquí voy. <ríe> Sorry. Ya te escribí. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Rosy. Vaya, so you see, you have the verb to be plus an adjective and the verb to be plus a place. Por ejemplo, acá, at school, at the beach, at a place. Entonces, <coughs> I was at school yesterday. I wasn't at the beach. I was in the park. I wasn't at home. So, to use it with a place. You can also use the verb to be plus a noun. Then you say, Ooh, I was a student about 10 years ago. Yeah, I was a student 10 years ago. Now, a student. Square, junior, now. Uh, See? Okay. So remember, singular, I, he, she, it. Was for affirmative, wasn't for negative. We, you, they, were. Where for affirmative, where and for negative. Any question there? No questions. No question. Uh -huh. Now, if this is affirmative and, and negative, right? But if we want to make a question, it's like when you make a normal question with the verb to be that the to be goes to the beginning, right? So you say, was I hungry? Yes, you were. Was he hungry? Yes, he was. Was she hungry? Yes, she was. Was it hungry? Yes, it was. Okay? The to be at the beginning. And the same happens with where. Were we at the theater? Last weekend, were you at the theater last weekend? Were they at the theater last weekend? Were we at the theater last weekend? You say, yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you at the theater last weekend? No, we weren't. Were they at the theater last weekend? Yes, they were. Remember that you can use theater or in this case, theater or theater. It depends if you are using the British version or if you are using the American version. Hmm? Questions? No question. Okay. Now, <clears throat> What we are going to do here, according to what you know, that we use was for I, he, she, it, <coughs> and where for we, you, they, you will help me here choose the best option to complete the sentence. Okay? A ver. I, where, I wasn't, or I weren't at home yesterday. I wasn't at home yesterday. Okay. Wait, I wasn't at home yesterday. Okay. I no vamos a poner aquí porque se fue, se fue rarito. Vea. Entonces decimos I wasn't at home yesterday. Yeah. A ver. I was at school or I wasn't at school or I were at school. I was. I was. I was. Both are okay. I can say I was and I can say I wasn't. No problem. See? Both are correct. A ver, the next one. I was happy because my friends at school. I was happy or I wasn't happy? I was or wasn't. I was or wasn't. 
Remember, we said that you can use the verb to be with the adjectives. A ver, ayúdenme a completar la oración. So you say, I was happy because, because, ¿qué? My friends. ¿My qué? I was happy because my... Because today is my birthday. Okay, because it is my birthday today. I'm happy because it is my birthday today. Nice. Good reason for being happy, right? Okay. My friends at school. Where? Hmm? Where? 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 Friends where? were at school or my friends? Where? Where? Right? Okay. Nice. A ver aquí. Tom was in the playground last week or Tom wasn't aware? What's the best option? Was. Tom was in the playground. Can I say Tom wasn't in the playground? Yes, no. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Tom wasn't in the playground last week. He was at home because he was sick. Okay, he? He was. Was. He was with his dad. Hmm. So Tom wasn't in the playground last week. Si le vamos llevando secuencia. Tom wasn't in the playground last week. He was with his father or with his dad. Tom's mom. Tom's mom. Wasn't. Wasn't. Wasn't in the playground. And he? Was. Was or wasn't? He wasn't on the swing. He was in his father's house. Right? That's Tom. Now, Sally and Tom... Where in the zoo last week? Where in the zoo? Where, okay. Where, where, where. Sally and Tom were in the zoo last week. There. Where? There were where? elephants in the zoo. There were elephants in the zoo. They? Where in? Where in? Where? They were in huge. Elephant. They were. Elephants huge. Huge means very big. They were huge. They were huge. But the children weren't scared. Weren't scared. Very good. Okay, now look at this picture. Vamos a quitar la picture. A ver, a ver. Yesterday is where? Yesterday is what? It was. It was. It was. So it where? It where? It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was or it wasn't? It was about El Salvador. Was, yes, it, wasn't, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't snowing. It wasn't snowing. It was or it hot. was hot. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot. But the boys were were sad. Were were sad. sad. They were happy. They were happy. They were happy. The children. 
were in the garden. Were in the, garden. the children were weren't. Were. The children weren't or the were. children were? Were. were. Okay. The children were in the garden. Okay. Where? Nice. Now look at these sentences. When you say, I was in the zoo yesterday, yesterday, but now I am in the zoo. Yeah? I was in the zoo yesterday, yesterday, remember past. But today, I am in the zoo. So now, I'm in the zoo now. My friend is six years old now. But yesterday, no, last year, he was six. No, he was five. My friend is six years old now. But last year, he was five. Yes? The weather was rainy yesterday. But today, mm -hmm. it is sunny. Today. The weather was rainy yesterday, but it is sunny today. Is that clear? We're making contrast of present and past. Questions? No questions? No? Que en, el, en el wax sería pasado. Wax es el pasado de, de, de is. is uh, y de am. De, de am. Entonces am es presente. Uh -huh. I miss the present. My friend is. My friend he, is six years old now. Uh -huh. he, Last he year. Works, he was. Was. For year is passed. Sí, exactly. The weather was rainy yesterday. It is sunny today. Es pasado. Mm -hmm. So we're making a contrast between the present and the past. Okay. Questions? No question? No question. Vaya, now look at this one. He was a student ooh, 10 years ago. Now he is a teacher. Yeah, he was a student. When were you a student? Well, you're a student right now, right? But before you were a university student and now you are probably an engineer, a licentiate, okay? So you say he was a student 10 years ago, but now he's a teacher. What about this one? I was fat when I was young. I am slim now. Or the opposite. I was slim when I was young and now I am fat. Okay. Any questions? No questions. No. Vaya pues, lo voy a mandar a hacer un exercise en grupitos. I'm giving you the question. So you don't worry about the question. I'm giving you the question. What you have to do is write the answer. ¿Qué tanto tiempo tenemos? No. Ocho minutos. Déjelo de, de, de deber. No, mejor lo hacemos ahorita. Y si no ahorita. terminamos de revisarlo, revisamos ahorita. mañana. Pero, de, todas maneras, de todas maneras, acuérdense que seguimos con... Con esta estructura del to be past, eh, toda la unidad 4. Así es que no es pobre. Was I the oldest? No, you. Ok, write the, send, write the question and write the answers in your notebook. 
Sí, porque muy poquito tiempo para irnos a los, a los grupos. Va a tener como, como siete minutos, nada más. So, no, no haré más. Vamos a ver quién se va a quedar conmigo hoy. Carla Lorena. En la segunda sería Yes, I was. No. Yes. Okay, are you ready to check? Mm -hmm. Was I the oldest? No, you? You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. No, you weren't. Were you tired? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Were they ready? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Was Sarah there? No, no, she, she was. She was. No, she wasn't. Negative, right? Were they from Italy? No, they weren't. They weren't. Mm -hmm. No, they weren't. weren't. Was your dad angry? Yes, he was. He was. Yes, he was. Was it cold? 
No, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Was I sleeping? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Were you playing? No, we weren't. Wearing. Mm -hmm. No, we weren't. Was it a dream? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Were you on the bus? No, I was. No, I was. No, I wasn't. was. Was there a fish? Yes, there were. There were. Ah? No, there was. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, there was. Works. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice questions. No questions? Mm. Nope. Okay. No, no questions, no questions. Okay. Okay. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a la última tienda del día. Eh, recuerden que hoy es miércoles, ¿verdad? Hoy terminamos unidad 3. Así es que hoy recojo notas de la unidad 3. Muy bien. Ahí Ajá. sería ese, de fijarse en el, en el tiempo y en el sujeto. Sí, sí, sí. Todas son del tubi, la, la tarea de hoy es del tubi, la de ayer también es del tubi. Vaya, vamos a ver, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Carolina, Claudia Carolina, present, Diego, present, Edwin, perdimos a Edwin, Elvin, Alex Elvin Alexander, present, teacher, Elvin, present. Present. ¿Quién? ¿Quién apareció? Elvin. Ahí está Edwin también, ¿verdad? Present dice aquí. Elvin. <ríe> Elvin y Edwin present. Elvin and Edwin present. Ok. Grace Michelle. Grace, no. Yeah. Ruth Joana. No, Joana Ruth. <ríe> Jonathan. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. No, Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Y en anterior me puso asistencia, teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ok. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David. David. Oscar. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present. Beatriz. Beatriz. Hello, hello. 
Ok, bueno, ahí estamos. Hoy recogemos la nota eh, de la tarea número 3. Espero que esté tan bonita como estuvo la, la anterior, ¿verdad? Pero okay. hoy, hoy, hoy llega hasta la tarea 15. ¿verdad? Sí, hasta la tarea sí, 15. Eh, present David, que tengo problemas con el audio. Vaya, David, si eso estaba viendo que me puso ahí. Por favor. Ok. Gracias, ah. teacher. Ok. Vamos a ver. Bueno, ahí quedamos. Nos vemos mañana. Yo ya los voy a ir a vigilar. A ver cómo están, pero yo espero que hayan terminado todo. ¿verdad? Ya, ya iban okay. bastante adelantados. Según Ajá. lo que estuve viendo yo antes. Pero que las tareas de ahora son todas, era, era afirmativo. Sí, sí, sí. Pasado, con respuesta afirmativa. Exacto, exacto. Puro verbo no, to be. Estaba lo, como los ejercicios últimos que acabamos de estar haciendo. Ajá. Que le hacen la question para que usted escriba la respuesta. Sí. No olviden el puntito al final, empezar con mayúscula para que no les dé problema. ¿Verdad? Y para que así se saquen 10. Bueno, okay. see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Hi, Carla, ¿qué tal? Bien, ¿y usted? Pues bien, gracias a Dios, bien. Bien, Gala. Ni cuenta <ríe> me di que se fue la luz porque yo dormí hasta. <ríe> yo tampoco sé por qué estoy en San Miguel. Ah, va. ¿en San Miguel no se fue la luz? No, ni ha llovido tampoco. Sí, no, aquí no llovió. Ha estado oscuro todo el día. Pero sí, todo el día. Me dijo Carolina que sí, había caído una tormenta. ¿A dónde? ¿Aquí en San Salvador? Quizás donde ella, sí. Pues no me di cuenta. <risa> <risa> Estaba ahí punta. No me di cuenta. Sí, porque temprano, bueno, aquí donde estoy, estoy adentro, no me doy cuenta. Bueno, ¿cómo no? Sí me doy cuenta si llueve por el sonido. Ajá. Pero no, no llovió temprano. Salí de clase, me fui a dormir. Entonces ya no supe nada. Hasta las 7 y 10 que la bulla de que se fue la luz, no hay luz, no hay luz en el mundo. <risa> yo en serio, bueno, pues yo creo que aquí sí, pero yo estaba allá en el séptimo sueño. <risa> que aprovechar de vez en cuando se puede que aprovechar sí ok Car Carla do you have any questions <clears throat> no I don't have questions no questions the topics we have been discussing are easy right in this unit yes and I was checking the platform vamos a ver Carla Carla, Carla. Ay, perfect. Oh, wow. You finished the course. Yes, I finished. Mire qué galán. Ya le voy a completar su lista toda. <laughs> Carla. Carla Lorena. Denle ya el diploma. <laughs> ready. Ready, ready. Only the attendance. Just the attendance. Yes. Mire qué gala, porque así yo ya la dejo actualizada a usted toda. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, and the, and the, the exercises in the platform too, they have been very, very easy. I found this course easier than last course. Yes. Right? Yeah, I maybe, see. Maybe so. because there are a couple of things that are uh, like a review of what we studied before, I think. That's why we find it like 
easier to do, easier to complete the exercise. Because the, the verb to be in the past, we studied that before. I don't remember what course, but we had studied that before. The jobs too, right? The adjectives too. So we're just uh, playing with the things in a different context and, and checking them like in a, in a different way, but just extra, something extra adding to what you already know. Right, so, so that's an advantage. And Carla, congratulations for your dedication. I know it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to work and study. That's a, that's really hard, right? But this homework, I I I feel easy. Yeah, it it's was fun. very easy. It's definitely, all 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 homework. At this course, yeah, very easy. Yes, it's true. Because, for example, right now, all the exercises that we take from now to the end, <clears throat> they are with the verb to be in past. All you need these two of these last uh, classes, and all you need for is about the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to study uh, the simple past, like affirmative, negative, and questions, again, with the other verbs, right? Like using did, did you go, did you swim? But we already studied that too, so it's not new. That's not new for you. And uh, the exercises that you have, and I guess it has some about uh, using did, but most of them are with the verb to be, right? So that really, really facilitates your life. Tell me, Carla, have you watched the videos that we have in the, in the book? No, I can't. You can't? No. You don't have time to do that? No, I don't have time. Because that would be amazing if you could see those videos they would give you like an extra, an extra help. Yes, I, I, I would like, but I, I can't because mm -hmm. I, like the world is very hard. I know, I know, I know. Sometimes it's not easy, right? If you have a lot of responsibilities to follow or to do, it becomes difficult to, to do to watch the videos but if any time you feel free and you have time you can go back and 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 watch some of the videos right and you will see a mostly for practicing and listening i am going to try to see mm -hmm. to watch. yeah from time to time you can take a a couple of minutes they are just three, four minutes, they are not too long. Three, four minutes while you're having lunch, just for listening a little bit. It, maybe you cannot be reading or, or watching the video, but you can be listening. And you will see that uh, because of the pronunciation, that's a good chance, right? They give you like extra practice related to listening. That's I have it. a question, teacher. Tell me. I I think I want will travel maybe in July or August. In mm -hmm. I don't know how from how. Uh, maybe I can take the class uh, for fifteen days. Mm. That would be July or August. Uh huh. I, I don't know exactly the, the the time. The time. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I don't want to lose the course. But it is very difficult to connect in other country. <coughs> That's true. That's true. 
because if there were Wi-Fi in the hotel or in the area where you're going to stay, that would be wonderful, right? That you would be able to connect. But you don't know exactly where you will stay, Carla. Yes, I know uh, Arkansas. But the problem is that maybe I, I don't stay in the house. Mm -hmm. What time will you finish work? Uh, or you will be no, like but, but, but I am on vacation. Ah, you will be on vacation. Ah, okay. Yeah. Because ooh, what you will have to do is like stop one course, but you will lose all your partners. Right? Stop one course once you know the exact date. Because this course finishes next week right next wednesday then mm -hmm. let's suppose we have about a week and in june we are beginning the new the next course so you're taking that course in june but you will have to check ex the exact date for the following course if it affects the whole course or if a uh, or if you will get the vacation in the middle of one course or the other. Ojalá que le quedara <laughs> en medio de un curso y el otro. Uh -huh. That would sí. be wonderful, right? That will be wonderful. But sí. we don't know exactly. Vamos a ver. When do we finish this one? Pero como lo que voy viendo es que me, lo, o sea, con los horarios de trabajo, más que todo, que me coincidan uh -huh. en los horarios que, en, en el tiempo de trabajo. Eh. Exacto. Es que todo, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Sí, pero ahí sería una gran casualidad <risa> que le quedara también en el tiempo entre un curso y el otro. Eso sería fantástico. O sea, yo voy a hacer lo, lo posible de conectarme, pero tal vez al, algunos días no pueda y no me gustaría perder el curso. Sí, no, pues sí, pues sí. Si no, allí chequese usted cómo, cómo va a estar, porque si no, eh, quizás sería más conveniente que deje de estudiar ese curso y siga el siguiente. Pero si usted ve que se va a poder eh, conectar la mayoría de los días, los otros puede ver la grabación, no, no podría, ¿verdad? Para que no lo pierda, para que no se desfase y no pierda al, al grupo. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Sí, no me gustaría. Pues sí. Y si no, dígales, miren, ahorita voy a la clase y ya salgo a platicar con usted. <risa> Ay. O sea, el problema es que en la casa donde voy de mi hermana, sí hay internet, pero ya afuera ya no voy a tener. Exacto. Y si ando fuera, que es, es la generalidad, sí, pues sí. no me voy a poder ni siquiera conectar. ¿Cuánto es eh, el tiempo de diferencia horaria? Creo que dos horas. Eso no he averiguado todavía. Ajá, chéquese. Si, por ejemplo, cuando aquí son las ocho, allá son las diez. Ajá. O si cuando aquí son las ocho, allá son las seis. Entonces habría que ver cuál es la. Creo que es más temprano, no estoy segura. Sí, también voy a ver eso. Uh -huh. Porque ese es un dato bien importante. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Sí. Para que tome la decisión y ojalá que pueda. ¿Verdad? Que no necesite parar. Sí, ¿verdad? sí. No, no quiero. <risas> sí, pues sí. No es que se quita el impulso. Una hora es la diferencia. Una hora, una hora. Ajá. Entonces sí, habría que ver si es si cuando aquí sean las ocho ya van a ser las nueve o allá van a ser las siete. ¿Qué tan es para adelante, para atrás? El, el, el... Ah, pues allá es más tarde. Ah. O sea que serían de nueve a once. De nueve a once es una ventaja. Es una ventaja. Porque... Tal vez la andan en la calle temprano y la devuelven para la <risa> <risa> ¿Verdad? Podría ser. Sí, por lo general, sí, a esa hora ya está uno en la casa. Ah, que allá la gente, tra este, 
eh, eh, ya el día comienza tarde y lo terminan bien tarde y también. Terminan tarde también, exacto, uh -huh. exacto. Sí, pero ojalá, ¿verdad? Se pueda organizar allí y que le quede parte del tiempo en medio que no hay clases todavía para que no le afecte. Sí, ojalá. <risa> Vaya, pues Carlita, nos vemos mañana entonces. Have a nice day. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.